The following critique is intended to provide members of the St. Catharines Camera Club with information to help improve their photography skills. The critiques were done by several members of our club. The emphasis of the image is a repetition pattern of the source image around the frame. The source image appears to have been exposed correctly. It is not useful to comment on the other important technical elements in the composition of the source image since the maker wants us to focus on the creativity and emotional content of the finished image. Abstract images need a strong sense of intent that the viewer can relate to. The intent may be graphic designs that lead the viewer's imagination to cast stories or arrangement of colors, texture, and light that evoke emotions. This image has an obvious graphical design but lacks a story and does not ignite a strong emotional response. The maker has achieved the ideal exposure and depth of field for this representational style of photography. The color palette is pleasing. What needs to be in focus is, and more importantly, what is out of focus maintains the interest of the viewer where intended. The maker can reduce the distraction of the image and strengthen the intent of the image by cropping from the top and right side of the frame. While there is little creativity in the design of the image, the color palette succeeds in conveying the sense of peacefulness in which the bird is enjoying its surrounding. This is a very compelling image. The maker should consider removing the two bright spots and the reflection as they are somewhat distracting. The image is very interesting, sharp, and exhibits a wide range on control tones. The image should score well in competition. The maker may have found himself, herself, restricted in positioning the camera in the ideal spot to make this image. The composition left wanting to see more of the rhino and less of the bright ground and the stone wall behind. The bright ground and the stone wall take attention away from the subject. However, the image as presented can be improved in several ways. Crop the stone wall from the right. Reduce the brightness of the ground with a local adjustment. This will help camouflage the fact that the ground is out of focus in addition to not letting the viewer be distracted with the brightness. Increase the brightness of the rhino except where it is already bright without losing the skin texture and detail. Reduce the brightness of the skin at the top of the shoulder and the far fireside of the head. Remove the bright bits of grass right next to the horn. The image fails to communicate the fierce nature of the rhino or indeed does not show the frustration of being stuck in a confined space. The post capture processing of the image must reinforce and clearly communicate the intent of the image. The maker in this case has chosen to present the image in monotone and with extreme contrast. The monotone treatment success succeeds. The contrast throughout the sky confuses. The viewer is left wondering whether the subject is the fierceness of the tractor or the imposing sky. The point of view of the tractor induces a deep sense of fear. Imagine that giant metal wheel rolling over anything alive, therefore succeeds. 
But then immediately the gaze slides to the sky, which is crying out for attention. In summary, the image can be improved by emphasizing the fierceness of the tractor hulk and reducing the space the sky takes in the frame and de-emphasizing the contrast of the remaining sky. Good subject matter in Focus on Leopard. Nice that there is a catch light in the eyes and the face is not shadowed. The few strands of grass in front of face are hard to avoid in this setting, but would be better if not there. Perhaps tone down rock and foreground for less distraction. Good use of negative space. Nice image. The maker presents an interesting image, but it appears to be less than sharp. The lines in the background are distracting and makes the image seem tilted. Rotating the image would help. Direct eye contact would make the image more appealing. The image is weak as presented. The maker of this image intends to take us out of the comfort zone of the representational style of photography. The source image is truncated into three sections in the order rearranged. The maker is drawing our attention to the relationship of the ambient light and the shadows with the persistent direction of the trees. The blurring of the trees further reinforce the emphasis of line and light. As such, the maker succeeds in his or her intent. However, the image design shakes our perception of a well-composed photograph. Some will resonate with the design, many viewers will dismiss it. sharp image with nice colors. However, a lot is going on in this image. Reflections in the window on the life left are distracting. The makers should consider repositioning themselves when taking image to help determine center of interest and to help make use of leading lines. Try to avoid cutting off the bottom of the step if steps are part of the flow of the image. Interesting idea with strong colors and sharpness. A little different angle would reduce the large black space on upper left. Lighting is too flat and harsh for this type of subject to be outstanding. Nice image with a strong center of interest that is well placed in the frame. Nice lighting and filling of negative space with good color and clarity. This image is very pleasing. The subject is well exposed and in focus. Backlighting is interesting. The brightness in the background is quite distracting. The bird and the large amount of branches are competing for your attention. This is a very nice image in that it has high initial visual impact, even though it has a few technical shortcomings in clarity, sharpness, and detail. It requires patience and a bit of luck 
at finding this type of photographic opportunity. The perch draws the eye because of large size and should have a less prominent impact with this photo. Cropping will reduce perch size. Color and sharpness could be improved slightly. Nice center of interest with subject and sharp focus in placement and frame. Good exposure on subject. There's a few hot spots that are a bit distracting. Cropping would give the image more impact. This is an interesting image, but the viewer is left with a feeling of uncertainty of its theme. Although it does present some mystery of what is behind that door, and we can all invent our own story. Ultimately, photography is about storytelling, whether it is clearly obvious or subject to the viewer's interpretation. The title leaves the viewer with some evidence of what the image is supposed to represent, but also creates conflict with the idea that this is simply a study of texture, shadow, and light in contrast, which needs no more theme than simply that. Directional lighting targeting the photographer's intended center of interest for this photo may help the viewer from interpreting this image as title implies. This image, if it were a study in contrast, makes good use of balance among shadows, highlights, and midtones. This photo, like many others, would benefit the viewers greatly if it was accompanied by a short abstract by the photographer of his, her idea in what he, she is attempting to achieve. Some rework of this image would make this image stronger. A good capture with decent depth of field, creating a nice book and background. This image might benefit from a deeper foreground that might be achieved with portrait rather than landscape orientation. Image could use a little extra sharpness of details and the feathers around the crown, which may be a result of an excessive crop or noise reduction during editing. Image also suffers from slightly overexposed whites on the breast feathers, but this may be recovered with the use of highlight recovery tools in Camera Raw or Lightroom. This image would do well in competition with minor rework of the stated observations. Nice image of this blue heron. Good asymmetrical balance is achieved diagonally from top left through bottom right using rocks and subject. This image could be improved with a minor curves adjustment of the shadows or by dodging the shadows in the image, particularly in the upper right quadrant. The composition may improve with a reduced amount of cropping and relocation of the subject slightly less central. This image is competition worthy. This is a nice image of a young red tail at rest on a precarious perch and has been captured as it calls out in defiance to the intruding photographer. Available ambient light has resulted in muted soft bokeh background that is complementary to the final image and helps the viewer focus on the subject. The background is a little bright, drawing attention away from the bird. Cropping would eliminate some of this 
and a slight levels adjustment will bring out the colors of the bird, giving it more impact. Note the difference a highlight makes in the eye. It makes the image seem more alive.